ndisoma taarifa fupi sana kuhusu uh, bwana Abdullah Alfaizal ni kwa nini atakani katika nchi yetu alafu baadaye nitaisoma kwa Kiingereza kufunua kwa Kiswahili kidogo alafu baadaye nitaweza kuchukua maswali yenu why muslim cleric Abdullah Alfaizal is unwanted in Kenya the government of Kenya is currently holding unwanted muslim cleric Abdullah Alfaizal the government is finalizing modalities to deport Alfaizal to his own country of Jamaica where he is wanted for trial for terrorism linked activities Mr Faisal is an unwanted person in Kenya what we call a persona non grata for basically security reasons Kenya will not allow Mr Faisal into the country because he is a known extremist with tendencies that support violence racism and religious discrimination Mr Faisal is also a convicted felon who was jailed in the United Kingdom and thereafter deported for terrorism like activities in actual fact one of the bombers of the London subway one of the terrorist bombers of the London subway declared that he undertook his act because he was inspired by Mr Faisal after listening to him Kenya considers Mr Faisal to be a very dangerous man and he will not be allowed to inspire Kenyans into terrorism. He is so dangerous that in his own country the Supreme Islamic Organization of Jamaica has banned him from preaching or even giving speeches. He is the kind of person who gives a bad name to the Islam religion. The government is surprised and actually shocked that any patriotic Kenyan would be fighting to have the convicted Mr Alfaisal to be allowed to enter and spread his dangerous message to Kenyans no patriotic Kenyan should allow any person to poison the minds of our people and especially inspire them as he has done in the past towards terrorism the Kenyan government will quickly deport Mr Alfaisal back to Jamaica so that he can face the charges awaiting him there and he will we will not hinder we will not hinder the trial that is awaiting for him in Jamaica serikali yetu basi imepigwa na bumbuazi na kutaranika ni kwa sababu gani ambapo unakuta mkenya yoyote ambaye kweli anaipenda nchi yetu anaweza kumtetea huyu mtu aruhusiwe aingie katika nchi yetu awape wa Kenya sumu ya ugaidi tunajua kwamba huyu mtu mwenye hatari na tunawa hisi na tunawa waambie wa Kenya wote ya kwamba huyu ni mtu ambaye tayari ameshafukuzwa nchi moja kwa sababu ya ugaidi ameshafungiwa tayari watu wamesema kwamba anapoongea nao wanataka kwenda kuingia katika hali ya ugaidi na kuoa watu basi kwa nini tumuruhusu katika nchi yetu bwana Faisal basi si nchi yetu ya Kenya tunamchukulia kwamba ni mtu wa hatari sana na mtu ambaye tunadhania kiruhusiwa kuwa hapa atawachangia na kuweza kuelekeza wa Kenya wengine na sumu ya kuweza kuingia katika hali ya ugaidi. Ye mwenyewe ni mtu ambaye anachukuliwa kuwa mtu hatari sana mpaka hata shirika la Uislamu la nchi yake ya Jamaica limempiga marufuku kuhubiri katika msikiti wote ama kupeana uh, kuongelesha kuwa, watu kuhusu mambo ya kidini katika nchi hiyo. Tayari nimesema ya kwamba huyu ni mtu ambaye kweli anaipa dini ya Kiislamu jina baya. Serikali yetu itamuhamisha ndo aweze kuchukuliwa mashtaka ya ugaidi ambayo inamsubiri katika nchi yake ya Jamaica